Bill 62 has just passed in Quebec, and it requires you to have your face uncovered while giving or receiving public services. And it goes pretty far. The Justice Minister, Stephanie Vallée, confirmed that the law would apply to anyone taking a city bus. To take public transit, you have to have your face uncovered, all through the ride. Now on the face of it, this law appears to be just pure xenophobia. But I'm going to explain later why it's not really just that. And you'd think this law must have been passed by a conservative party. But that's actually not the case. The Liberals used their majority in the Quebec National Assembly to adopt the law on Wednesday, 66 to 51. The opposition parties voted against it, with the Parti Québécois and Coalition Avenir Québec saying it didn't go far enough. So this was passed by the Quebec Liberal Party. Now, at the federal level, the Liberals have been against these sorts of laws. So this now puts Trudeau in an interesting position, where he has to sort of be able to criticize this law while at the same time not offending liberal voters that are in Quebec. So Trudeau took sort of a half measure in response to the passing of this law, saying that his views on this are well known. And the Globe and Mail broke down what his other motivations may be. Mr. Trudeau probably wants to be gentle with the Federalist Premier Philip Couillard, but the Prime Minister with 40 seats in Quebec wants to avoid sparking resentment at Ottawa interference. So you can see how Trudeau is in sort of an awkward spot. So while he's against this law, he doesn't want to seem too harsh on it, because then it may be viewed as the Prime Minister getting himself involved in provincial politics. Now, Conservative leader Andrew Scheer was also asked about his position on Bill 62. So this message was put out by his Director of Communications. Ultimately, it's up to Quebecers to pass judgment on this legislation. The Conservative Party believes every Canadian has the right to express themselves and practice their religion, not just in private, but in public too. So while the Conservative Party was for this sort of thing during the last federal election, it seems they've now stepped back a bit and are defending the right of people to wear whatever they want in public. So it's not clear what the motivation is there, and maybe the fact that it was the Quebec Liberal Party that passed it has something to do with it. But regardless, it seems like they're moving in the right direction. Now, what does new NDP leader Jagmeet Singh think of this? A man that himself wears a religious symbol. I'm completely opposed to the bill, but I am completely confident in the existing protections that are in place in Quebec that will protect human rights. Fundamentally, we can't have the state telling people what to wear, what not to wear. So Jagmeet Singh is correct. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms protects anyone's ability to wear whatever they want. But Quebec can go around that. Even if the Supreme Court strikes down a provincial bill for offending a fundamental freedom, a province can exempt that bill from court review by declaring the bill is notwithstanding the Charter. So with the notwithstanding clause, Quebec can in fact get around the Charter and keep this as law. Now, I promised you a sort of twist on this story. So this great piece by Tom Parkin on rabble.ca breaks down why this law isn't just based in xenophobia. The bill is justified on the basis of secularism, the idea that church and state must be divided. Anyone with the passing knowledge of Duplessis will understand the deep scar left in Quebec politics by La Grande Nuisier, the Great Darkness, when the church ran the schools, hospitals, and social services like an intimidating French-language Catholic Taliban. The Quiet Revolution not only defeated Duplessis' government and kicked out the priests, it destroyed the oppressive political structure they built. It rebuilt public services on a secular basis. For Quebecers, especially on the left, secularism is a profoundly progressive idea. So while on the face of it, this bill, which is now a law, appears to be simply based in racism, when you actually look into the history of Quebec and understand the motivations behind many progressives there, they may view this simply as a secular idea, and that forcing people to show their face on a public bus is not, in fact, racist. It's just what you have to do in a secular society. Now, I do think a lot of the motivations behind Bill 62 are, in fact, bigoted. Don't get me wrong. But it's important to have that conversation and not begin the conversation with, you're racist. Because if you start the conversation off with that, then you're really not going to get anywhere. But if you start the conversation off by listening and understanding where that other person is coming from, you may in fact be able to change their mind. 